Hey guys, so for today's video, I shopped my stash and picked out all of my favorite red lipsticks. I love red lipstick. I think it's my favorite category of lipstick colors. But I was realizing as I was going through my collection that there are so many different types of reds. I think when you think of red lipstick, you probably think of like your classic blue-based red. But I have so many different types of reds here. I've got a more nude red, some pinky reds, some more orangey reds. So we've got a little bit of everything. And I thought it would be fun with Valentine's Day right around the corner to just play with these, swatch them, have a little swatch party. Some of these colors you may already own. And the purpose of this video isn't really so much about telling you which red lipsticks you should go out and buy for Valentine's Day but more about you know what can you find in your own collection that is similar to these. Maybe you even already own some of these. Many of these are older formulas that I've had for quite a while, so you may already own some of these. If not, you probably own something similar. But of course, if you are on the hunt for any new red lipsticks to add to your collection, I totally recommend these. So this was actually a request that I got on Instagram. I recently asked you guys as I was planning out some of my February videos if you had any requests, and I think I've actually gotten this request a few times in the past as well, and I thought it would be perfect timing with Valentine's Valentine's Day right around the corner. I'm in a very like pink and red sort of mood right now so I thought it would be perfect. Although I think red lipstick is for all times of year, all seasons. It's I think it's seasonally appropriate all year round. So let's go ahead and start with a favorite nude red. I feel like this kind of red doesn't really get a whole lot of recognition <laughs> because it's more often kind of classified in the nude category. But this is a lipstick from BK Beauty. It's one of their Lux lipsticks. And at first glance, this doesn't look very red. You might think it looks a little bit more mauve-y. So there is some kind of mauve nudeness to this color, but it also has quite a bit of red to it. And I think you'll be able to see that as I swatch it on my lips. So there's that swatched out on my lips. Do you see what I mean by it has a lot of red to it? It's kind of like a deep rosy nude, I would say. And I think this is a great red to go for if you don't want to really commit to like a full on bright, you know, classic blue based red. This is something a little bit more muted, but it's still is red. And this BK Beauty lip formula is so comfortable. It feels like a, like a hydrating lip balm. It really just feels very nourishing and comfortable on the lips, but the color payoff is beautiful. It's definitely not going to be as long wearing as a matte lipstick, but it's just so comfortable. I don't mind, you know, reapplying this throughout the day. So this is a great more nude red option. So next let's chat about my favorite pinky reds. So this is one that I've had in my collection for quite a while. Unfortunately, the brand, their cruelty-free status is kind Kind of uncertain now. Some people do consider them cruelty free, some people don't. To me they're kind of in a gray area, so I don't purchase from them anymore. And when this product does either run out or expire, I will absolutely be searching for a dupe because this is one of my favorite red lip colors ever made. I think it's so unique. This is the Physician's Formula Healthy Lip Liquid Lipstick in the shade Tulip Treatment. I call it a watermelon red. It's kind of a lighter red. It's not as saturated as some of these others. And it's got a little bit of pink to it, but in a very like fresh, juicy, summery sort of way. Okay, so there's that color. That is such an instant mood booster for me. The shade kind of makes me think of being on vacation in Spain because I bought this right before I visited Spain, like four years ago now. <laughs> it's been a while, uh, which is why I'm currently trying to pan this <laughs> lipstick. I bought this right before that trip, brought it with me, and it just makes me think of that time. It makes me think of looking forward to a fun vacation that I've been anticipating for a long time, just that is what this color makes me think of, just, you know, being outside and taking in all the scenery. Yeah, that's that's what this lipstick is for me. So I had to include it even though the brand is not one that I am currently purchasing from. Uh, if anybody knows of any dupes for this, let me know. I think Bite Beauty might have a dupe, so that might be the one I look into, but let me know. I might have to check Temptalia as well. Okay, so my other favorite pinky red is... Honestly, looking at it next to the Physicians Formula one, it looks similar, but I'm telling you these are so different, especially on the lips. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist 24 Hour Matte Lipstick in the shade Thrill Seeker. One of my favorite matte bullet lipstick formulas. This is very long wearing, kind of similar to a liquid lipstick, but I find it more lightweight and not as drying as a liquid lipstick. And oh, just look at this. This would be perfect for Valentine's Day. All of these would, honestly, but... Look how just opaque that went on on first swipe. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, so rich and beautiful. To me, this is more of a pink than a red, but it definitely has some red to it. I think it's enough of a rich pinkish color that it, it totally, to me, passes as like a reddish pink. I, I just had to include this one. This would be such a beautiful like Valentine's Day glam shade. Also, I feel like it makes my teeth look a little bit whiter, which is always a bonus. I think I realized the difference between these two, even though they're kind of similar, the Physician's Formula Tulip Treatment is more of a red pink, whereas the CoverGirl Thrill Seeker one is more of a pink red. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna save my like classic true reds for the end. Next, I wanna talk about my two favorite orange reds. So mm, this one is very vampy, really fun. This is the CoverGirl Cream Vice Lipstick in the shade Olvera. Very unique shade. I don't think I've ever owned anything like this. They call it a blood orange, which I think is a good description of it. It's a very rusty, vampy red. So you can see, I feel like it does come off a little bit brighter on the lips than it looks in the tube, but it's still just this very rich orangey red, but I have some other orangey reds that are more of like a bright, almost neon color. This is a very rich, almost rusty reddish orange. It's funny, even though this has a very warm base to it, I feel like it makes my teeth look pretty white. Oftentimes I'm worried with warm reds that my teeth are gonna look yellow, but that's not really the case with this one. My poor lips are gonna be so dry after this. Okay, so then we have more of a bright reddish orange. This is from the brand Cloven Hallow, and it is their lip velvet in the shade Fiesta. I checked and they do still sell this. They did discontinue quite a few items, <laughs> which was very upsetting when they rebranded, but this they did keep around, which I'm glad, because it's a really pretty color. Now this is a very traditional liquid lipstick in the sense that it's gonna be a little bit drying. It's gonna wear off in kind of a stark line, so you have to be kind of careful about it and you know kind of monitor it especially if you're like eating and drinking while you have this on but the color is so beautiful that i can that i can kind of get past that Ooh, that is so pretty a little bit less out there i think than olvera from urban decay this is more red than it is orange, but it is a very warm, fiery red. So if you tend to stick more to blue-based reds and you wanna branch out to something warmer, this is such a beautiful option. I especially love this kind of red in the summertime just cause it's so fiery and it just, I feel like it pairs so well with like a warm, golden, orangey kind of eye look. So, so pretty. All right, so then we have my favorite metallic red. This is one of my kind of more classic true red shades. This is perfect for the holidays, but anytime you wanna wear a red lip and really make a statement, like even more than just a regular matte red lip, this is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Beso Shimmer. They also have a regular Beso that's not a metallic formula. Metallic liquid lipsticks definitely are a little bit high maintenance. Um, they can look a little bit drying. You wanna make sure you have your lips prepped really well before you apply them. You don't wanna put, on, put it on like very dry chapped lips and you know, it's not gonna wear off very gracefully, but it's, again, it's such a fun color that I can totally look past that. I mean, just, just get a load of this. This is like Dorothy's Ruby Slippers Red. Definitely makes a statement. Very bold, very fun. Because it's a not only a liquid lipstick, but a metallic liquid lipstick, it's, it's definitely going to fade off in kind of a patchy way. I think metallic liquid lipsticks are always going to be like that. So I don't necessarily fault Stila for that. Definitely a high maintenance lip color, but I think it's perfect for any kind of holiday party, Valentine's party, or just any time you want to make a bold statement. It's a classic. As we're getting into these kind of true classic reds, I did wanna also throw in my favorite red lip liner. This is an old classic. This is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade True Red. I do think it's important to have a red lip liner because with reds, you really wanna make sure you get a precise application and this is gonna help prevent it from feathering or fading outside your lip line. And the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the wooden pencils is a classic for a reason. It's a really great lip formula. Nice and long wearing. Now my other favorite drugstore lip liner formula is Koki. Those are even more long wearing, like those are practically waterproof. Uh, but this just happens to be the one that I have on hand right now.
So you can see that's a nice, just classic blue-based red there. And over that, I'm gonna apply my favorite blue-based red that is in a matte bullet lip formula. This is from Base Blue Cosmetics, and it's their matte attraction lipstick in the shade 01, which I believe is the shade Dress Code. And this is, first of all, such beautiful packaging. And it is definitely a very mini lipstick, like this is very small compared to your average uh, bullet lipstick, but I don't really mind that because like how often do I go through a red bullet lipstick? Basically never. So it looks more vampy and dark in the tube, but you'll see going on, it's, it's lighter than that. Again, just one swipe color payoff. I just love that so much. This is pretty much as close to your classic blue-based red that you can get. If I could only keep one red lipstick, oh, that would be hard. <laughs> Hypothetically, if I could only keep one red lipstick, it would be this one because this is your quintessential red. And I love that it's matte, long wearing, feels very like thin and weightless on the lips, but it packs such a punch. Love it. Pretty sure I've said that about every single one, but I do, uh, I just love red lipstick. I look like I'm a five-year-old that's been eating a popsicle. Okay, before my lips completely fall off, I have one more to share, and this is another blue-based red that is a more hydrating bullet lipstick formula. And this is from the brand Estate Cosmetics. This is their Lip Thirst in the shade Cosmo. This one is a tiny bit sheer, especially compared to the base blue one. This one is just so opaque right off the bat. This one, you can definitely get very rich color payoff, but you can also wear this a little bit more sheer if you would like, because it is a little bit more of a moisturizing formula. But this is another classic blue-based red option. So you can see how that has a little bit of shine to it, the finish. It's not a fully matte lip color, but it's also not glossy either. It's somewhere right in between, but this has the feel of just like a nice nourishing lip balm on your lips. Very comfortable to apply, comfortable to wear, but it's also not going to go crazy and like bleed all outside your lip lines. I would probably recommend wearing a lip liner with this one, but you can also to totally get away with wearing it on its own. It's not going to be transfer proof. It will fade off, but it's going to fade off nice and gracefully. That's my favorite, very comfortable, but still classic rich red option. So those are all of my favorite reds in my collection. If you, like myself, are a red lipstick fanatic, then I'm sure you can understand why it's totally necessary to have this many reds in your makeup collection because there are totally nuances and differences between all of these shades. So something for every occasion here, all of these would make a beautiful Valentine's Day red lip or just any time of year. I think red is perfect in that it can be worn year round and it always looks so classic, so timeless and put together. Can you tell I'm just very passionate about red lipstick? So I hope that you guys enjoyed this little red lipstick swatch party. And really, like I said, the purpose of this video was to inspire you guys to go and take a look at your own collection and pick out those red lip colors that make you feel beautiful, confident, sexy for Valentine's Day or any day, every day is a great day to wear red lipstick, in my opinion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And otherwise, I hope to see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.